What's going on, y'all? Oh, whoa, Yash here. Um, so last time we got you guys, um, I was cleaning the wheels in the car. They're dirty again. It's been a while. I'm not cleaning the wheels right now today. I'm actually cleaning the headlights. I was going to do it the other day, Friday, but the weather decided to turn to like 20 degrees. I was like, bro, seriously? It was just 70 the other day. All right. So anyway, um, I bought this kit here. Um, but before I get into all that, if you guys are new, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's pan this over. All right. So... As you can see, these headlights are in desperate need, right? Only spent like 20 or 30 bucks here. I got this uh, Meguiar's uh, headlight restoration kit. Uh, that's the before and after. Is there a little advertisement? Man, I went to Michaels to get some painter's tape, but geez, they don't make these thick anymore. It's like, I remember a long time ago when I was doing artwork, it was like this big. Now it's like, bro, barely getting anything. So that's going to be annoying doing that. Um, no drill required. Let's see here. So I guess I got the moderate kit. One of my Subi friends recommended this to me. Shake product well. Um, all right, I guess I got some reading. I'm not going to read it out loud. Clean, easily remove heavy oxidation, yellowing and scratches, and coat. I mean, oh, I didn't even know I was holding this down. Yeah, I mean, this shouldn't be too crazy, I don't think. All right, let me see if I can open this up and set up my workshop here all right here's my little blockade nothing too crazy there um oh, let me make sure this focuses so squeeze a quarter size amount of the cleaning solution to the pad provided using back and forth motion thoroughly clean entire headlight surface reapplies needed wipe the headlight surface with a clean towel to check progress the surface is properly cleaned when it has a uniform frosted appearance across the entire headlight wipe clean with a damp cloth and dry completely apologies on this my allergies are acting up so headlight must be 100% clean dry before headlight coating is applied and I decided to go ahead and read it apply one medium wet coat of headlight coating to the entire headlight surface overlapping the previous pass by 50% let the first coat dry three to five minutes follow it with the second coat to completely seal the headlight lens the coating will be dry to touch within three to five minutes and fully cured within 24 hours do not expose the coating to water until fully cured huh well, seems simple enough and it doesn't seem to be a rainy day at all coming on otherwise i'd be screwed so let's uh proceed forward here and by the way guys i don't have a way to set this camera so that you can watch me work on this all right i'm not sure if you guys can tell um i just got done scrubbing i just put my first layer of coating just for comparison purposes this is the other side here it hasn't been taped up or anything yet so that's the first bit of coating there and we're going to proceed forward i'm doing these one at a time i'm focusing on one then i'll go to the other one one thing i didn't show you guys i hit the button in my pocket that wasn't what i was going to show i put the blue tape down first the painter's tape and then i go around with the newspaper with the second layer so that i'm really getting everything done there but yeah just wanted to point that out so there's a few things I need to show you guys that I forgot to that I didn't show on YouTube. So first, I uh, two weeks ago, I went ahead and cleaned my intake. Um, I'm probably going to have to get one of those splash guard. It's something that basically you put around the intake here. It stops some water. Um, when I got this giant, massive turbo inlet here, because I thought I had a leak there on the stock one, I didn't realize it was this huge. So that's what she said. Um, so that basically pushed my intake down into here and i believe that i've been having some debris possibly water as you can see after cleaning the thing there's some leaves right there so yeah i gotta get one of those guards um here's the current result there looks good right of course i can't wash anything water wise um until 24 hours i'm gonna start on this side um of course this chip is still here yeah bugs bunny gap teeth um my wheels are dirty again as i stated I got, I got some tires finally i got some achilles uh all seasons here i forgot what exactly they were called but finally no longer uh losing traction there but um yeah so far so good halfway tempted to do that ramen noodle <laughs> that ramen noodle thing that's you know i don't know i don't know all right guys so here's gonna be my final results here uh first i want to say what i did is the first step i did that twice i wiped it down with the cloth, a damp cloth twice uh the second step i did the two coatings that it said 
So, first headlight here. Looks real good. Let's back away from it so you can get an idea. Looks real nice. Um, second headlight, again, looks really good. Uh, the only thing I have to say, um, in my case, I'm going to have to get some sandpaper, probably do some wet sanding there and get real detailed with it. But this is definitely a huge improvement from um, where I was originally. So I definitely uh, recommend this product here. If it's not in a local store, just get it off of eBay or whatever. I think it's like $20, $30. Pretty, uh, pretty nice there. And well, it says it'll keep clear for a year, so I guess I'll keep watching that, right? Um, as it stands, I definitely recommend that product again, like I said. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut the video off there. got the headlights nice and clean. Um, I was actually surprised. Mine have been needing... I've been, I've been doing so many little things, just waxing them and scrubbing them and all this other stuff. But yeah, this, this stuff pretty much worked. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're going to be doing the spark plugs there. Within two weeks, I'm going to have Carlos back, if you guys remember him when we did the uh, Firebird there. That car sold, obviously. Um, so we're going to do the spark plugs on the Subaru. Hopefully that knocks off the uh, issue with hitting 15 pounds and hitting uh, a little hesitation or um, misfire. I had a slow moment. So anyway, like, share, comment, subscribe. Join our Discord. Uh, we'd love to have you guys part of a Discord family there. That's where you can mostly communicate with me and everyone else on the team. Um, but all right, I'm out. Ooh, whoa. If you like coffee, serious business, entertainment, jokes, and giveaways, follow our partners at SubaruSteve.com, one of the hottest live shows in the Hampton Roads. I mean, who doesn't like to win free stuff?